So I'm Linda Wuhlenene and I'm doing my second year PhD in the Center for Nanotechnology Innovation. My research focus is on developing organic dyes known as thalocyanines for applications in cancer treatment. We each have a seating space like a cubicle where you could do your research on access to Wi-Fi throughout. So this is the research laboratory where we make all the chemical compounds that we use in our research. And I've always just wanted to go to Rhodes, come to Rhodes to study a Bachelor of Sciences. And I met Professor Dibelo Nyokong. Learning what her students were exposed to in terms of traveling around the world, as well as the facilities that they have in this lab, made me want to just continue with working in this very university and in, in the Center for Nanotechnology Innovation. We also have a wide range of analytical instruments that we use to analyze the materials that we would have synthesized in the lab. I mean, it allows you to do much, much more. This is the machine that we use. It's one of the very few in the world. So we use this instrument to look at how the nanomaterials or what they compose of basically. So you want to look at the layers and look at what chemicals make up each layer of the nanomaterial that you're using. We use nanomaterials as delivery vectors for um, chemical compounds that act as drugs because they don't necessarily know where to go once they're in the drug, but the nanomaterials is like give them an address to target specific areas in the body. We are the ones that actually use the instruments to study our materials. So instead of having a technician that will run the instruments, we also have the opportunity to use the instruments and learn how they work and the principles behind them. Some institutions actually have to send their materials that they would have made in the lab to other institutions and that actually takes up a lot of time. Okay, so we are now in the XPS room. It's X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. And I'll just walk you through the instrument and what we use it for. Fine, so this is one of the instruments that we use to determine the quality of our materials that we would have made in the lab. So it's both qualitative and quantitative in its results. So you can tell what your nanomaterial is made up of, so the elemental composition of your nanomaterial, if there's nitrogen or oxygen or sulfur, and how much of it, as well as looking at what your elements are bonded to, so your neighboring elements. So is it just sulfur or sulfur next to oxygen? Because the bonds also create different properties. And uh, the times where I use these materials is when I'm trying to look if my medicinal drug is covalently, which means like tightly bonded to my nanomaterial that I would have made. And I use the nanomaterials to give my drugs a direction of where exactly the cancer is and make my um, treatment methodology specific to cancer.